Hi, my name is Petrona Latrin and I am a Swedish cellist and let's practice together. This is practice with Petronella. So grab your cello and let's have a little cello, cello practice moment. So today I'm gonna practice with you how to hold your hand position. Um, and of course all of our hands are different. My hand looks like this. And everyone has smaller or bigger hands depending on your DNA and the, how you look. And everyone can use their own techniques and everyone has their own techniques because we have different bodies. I'm going to go through some things that I think is quite general that we can all inspire from and learn from because um, there are some things that makes it easier for you when you play shallow and some things that makes it more difficult. So I'm going to try to go through the things that makes it easier that you can use to yeah become better. And yeah, I had a lot of problems with this when I was learning shallow when I was younger I had so much problems finding the position so I really feel it when it's difficult and I think it's important to train it and this is something that you can always develop and you are always developing because every piece requires a different kind of you know challenges because the composers never think about the, our hands when when they compose they think about the music and they should think about the music so let's start I have a bottle of water with me. If you want, it would be great if you have a glass or a bottle so you can pause the video and go and get something. Maybe you're even a thirsty, so let's keep rehydrated. Whatever drink you choose is up to you. So when I drink, I drink like this. This is how it looks like. And it's quite similar to my shallow playing and how I hold my shallow neck. So if you look at my hand here and I just take it out, and I put it here. It looks quite sim similar. I like to hold my fingers like this because it gives me flexibility over all the strings and I don't have to move that much. I also like these two. You see this one? They are married and they have a very good marriage because they are not forcing like uh, each other together. They are very happily married. So they just, you know, keep together to support each other. So this is the trick that I do with these fingers. And they are just there. The thumb is supporting to support marriage between these two. And they live together. I like to play with my fingertips. And why? Because it's easier to put your weight into the finger when it's bent, like this, than this. Because this way, when you have like the whole fingertip here, then... Um, the weight gets through, yeah, it goes everywhere, you know, through the whole area. The bigger the area is, less concentrated the weight becomes. It's very detailed work, this. So I like when it's like fingertip. And this also makes it faster, because if you are playing and you're like... It goes quite fast, but if you do with the fingertip, it's bigger, bigger movement. And bigger space and yeah you're not you're not that fast and I like to make a picture in your head so I will say that uh, maybe you know Pippi Longstock I'm Swedish so I, I was grown up by these uh, stories and she always has two big shoes and if you play the cello like this it's like going around with two big shoes all the time so you don't have that it's not a ballerina. We want the ballerina to tiptoe around our shallow to be super flexible and, you know, elastic. So then it's good to put your fingertips. And this is very, very, very small muscles. So it takes time for them to develop. So be patient. Do this uh, practice video with me a lot and you will see a development. So you can also use a ball or a stuffed animal. I have a stuffed animal here. Because my dog, he comes and lies here with me. It's a bulldog. Mikey. So um, you can just <laughs> do like this. You can practice your muscles by squeezing something soft. <laughs> and yeah, something that doesn't get hurt. Then you're practicing your muscles. Or you can take a tennis ball. or no, Maybe not a tennis ball. But yeah, a ball that you can squeeze. But don't do it too much for sure. Because just do it 
highly like 30 seconds of maximum one minute because this you can get training pain in your fingers and that, that's not good so take it easy but train it a little bit every time and you can do this training without the shallow so if you're an absolute beginner just train like this you can look at tv even it's perfect so that's a good exercise to start with and it's i mean even i do it when i am if I can't practice one day, uh, if I'm traveling, I can just do this on the train. I can do everything. Just moving the muscles a little bit, you know. Getting them warmed up before the concert. And yeah, you know, it's good. And when you have done this, do it with me. Come on, let's do this. Yeah, you will see. You have the bottle. You check. Okay, this is how it should be. You can sit by a mirror if you want or a phone with the selfie mode on and then you will see what you are doing then the other thing that i like is when you have your arm higher and in the beginning it can be a bit tiring but it's actually quite quite good in the end i promise you it's worth the the struggle to get there because if you have your arm like this quite low this is what's gonna happen you're playing like la 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 cannot go to the high note so it's really great to be here and to be then you can play everywhere on the shallow so if you're insecure if you have your arm high enough trick start here and then slide up bottle feeling okay so let's do this take your arm down on the fingerboard slide it up and put the thumb and the thumb is in a very good marriage so no forcing just relaxing and supporting you're supporting it's just there you can even take it away and put it on take it away put it on just just there you know and you feel your arm you go down you go up and this is a very good just exercise like this to learn your body what you want because that's what you want to to do you want to teach the body this is good so actually take the arm here slide it up good good body really good i'm gonna put the bottle here then you do like this bravo very good so pat yourself on the shoulder when you do it good yeah good yeah virtual high five nice let's do it again from here slide up the thumb is supporting it's nice and if you are a beginner and you're like i don't know how long to slide it am i gonna slide it here or here or here it doesn't really matter in the beginning because what we are training now we are training the arm so the fine motoric will come just put your arm here it's really good exercise actually just to feel and breathe a little bit be relaxed you can do a little bit of yeah moving it's good so this is really good this is the first step and now i did it on the d string you can take another we can take the c string now just to be because this is a different kind of level of angle so let's start on the c string and then slide it up and down and up and down and up nice very good very good it's good a little bit higher then do the a string from here to here here to here just sliding this is really good work this is like putting money into the bank you know because later you're gonna have a really good investment if you do this exercise i know it's not sounding so much and it's not the most funny maybe but come on is putting money into the bank a good investment slide up and down up and down so now when we have done this a little bit and we feel up and down going here with the cello try to feel your fingertips okay so now it's important moment have you cut your nails if you haven't cut your nails pause the video go and cut the nails and you look at mine i barely have any nails and that's the way it is because you want to use your awesome fingertips so away with the nails 
And now I'm in, I'm on the D string. So a very good thing is air shallow. I love air shallow. It's one of the greatest things. You can just try now. Remember that these two are together. These two are together. Take it down. Slide up. Then you can just do this. With the whole hand. same function as playing they're just not playing yet so do it on all the strings C string D, e, 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 D. so what I do I am relaxed here and then I put the weight on you see my arm here it's like if I would do it without the thumb now this is the movement I'm doing now because you want to see the whole arm as one unit that is putting on weight on the string to push it down and if you are relaxed which is hard then you get more power which is funny but relaxation gives you more power and you can just do it on your arm like this, just to feel how it feels. Because here you can feel that, you know, gravity is going to help you. Gravity is going to put you down, put down the strings for you. And how amazing is that? So, you know, you get something for free here. From the grav uh, gravity. So do this. And then on the string. E. And C. Good. E. that's good awesome good work guys this is really important and it's not so difficult so you can do this easily every day easily it's nothing you know and you can do this when you look at tv even again this is a really good tv exercise okay so now we have done the pre-work we have grounded something we have uh, worked proactive so we will have success when we actually play so, now we're going to use our E. So it's really important when you play the cello to use your E because it's kind of your, your compass. So you have to be good with the E. So I like to think before I play what I'm going to play and how it sounds. It's really important not to just, just put the scores and you're like, ah, you know, play. Because you will do a lot of mistakes that you wouldn't have done if you would been patient and just okay what am i gonna do how is this gonna happen i like actually to do an exercise called air shallow before i play a piece you look at it look at the beginning the end what is similar what is not similar maybe just try it the bowing a little bit try the fingering a little bit we are gonna do the d string i'm gonna take the bow because it's easier for you to hear what i do if you want, you can do the pizzicato. So when you take the string in your hand and do this, this is called pizzicato. This is Italian word. So, D string. Lovely. And the exercise is going to be just the first finger on. And this means like this now, because the thumb is married to <laughs> this finger. So, okay, then, so thumb here, and the other finger, this is the movement. I hope I'm clear, okay? So, what do we do? Okay, the procedure. Hand here, slide up, bottle, bottle of water. That's how it, the form, the shape of the hand looks like. And then we have to find the note. Huh? So we have this string. This is your compass. I know this string. Da, 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 da. Oh, was that right? Hmm. It's not quite sure. I will do it again. Hmm. Now it 
just sounds like a D E because the next one finger on D string that note is called E. Okay? So <laughs> This is how it sounds. It would be lovely if you sang with me. So da 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 da. Because singing makes it go into your brain on the external hard drive in your brain, sort of. So it's really good to sing. And it's not about singing good. Oh, I cannot sing. Of course you can sing. You can make noises with your mouth, hopefully. Or if you are dumb, imagine it in your head. You know. <laughs> I want it to be? Is it this the way I want the arm to be? Does it feel right? So it can be hard to feel right in the beginning, but we can do the checkpoint. Here, slide it back, look like a bottle, the thumb is married to the middle finger, and then D string. <laughs> have to search for the first finger I mean I practice a long time uh, many hours to play like this so you might have to search for it so an example could be and don't get panic don't panic take it easy take it easy this happens to everyone now huh? so especially in the beginning so we have to search for it so da Da, da is the note we are looking for. Da, da. And if you sing it before and you're looking for the note with your ear, so you're searching for the note with your ear, then your body is going to try to find it for you. And when you find it, yes, it's amazing when you find it. Praise yourself and be like, yes, I found it. It's here. Yes, I found it. Be happy about that. And that's really important that you are cherishing things that you do good. And even if the only thing that you do good is sliding back and your arm is in a good position now, be happy about that because that's awesome. This is not an easy thing. It takes time. So that's why you have to repeat the video a lot <laughs> because I have to repeat this so much I still have to think about it. It's not like I'm always finding the right in intonation. That's the beauty about cello. That's why not everyone is playing the cello. So let's do it again, the procedure. Slide down your hand like a bottle. You can try it. Mm -hmm. I will drink that. Possible. And then... Hmm, was that perfect? Maybe not. I will do it again. Was good yes i did it good very good awesome again you can smile when you do it good because yeah. it's a lovely feeling and you worked hard for it you prepared for it and now you do it and if you don't do it perfect the first time you do the video you do it again that's why this is a practice video you have to do it many times this is not something that you just can do like during these 15 minutes, but if you can do it during these 15 minutes, I'm so happy for you. I'm really happy. And if not, just keep on practicing. Everything takes time. And for some people, some things take longer time. And for other people, you know, everyone has their strong and weak side. Actually, this was my weak side when I started playing cello. It's always been my weak side, actually, to have the perfect angle of the, sh the fingers and to find the right um, tone production actually so I've been struggling with it a lot so that's just life some people uh, but I have other uh, talents uh, other things that I got very easily so you know tell la vie keep on doing this exercise repeat the video if you need to and have a listen day yeah?